Did you know that a few years ago a real sea serpent with horns was found on the coast of Spain? And what about the pig with human limbs that was stumbled upon in New York? Creepy creatures are washed up on shore now and then, and they can't be called anything but monsters. So they're worth a look. In this episode, I'll show you real sea and lake monsters washed up on shore. Let's go! East River Monster In July 2012, New Yorker Denise Ginley was walking with her boyfriend on the beach near the Brooklyn Bridge when she suddenly noticed a strange creature on the sand. It was a creepy animal that resembled a mutilated pig with human limbs. The giant carcass of the scary toothy monster was discovered by Ginley and her boyfriend in East River, so the creature was dubbed the East River Monster. Ginley shot the monster and sent the photos to several newspapers which soon published them, sparking a heated discussion among internet users. Some say that the monster was a roasted pig, but this version was not accepted because how did the pig get its long tail and human-like fingers? Other users suggested that the monster is a large rodent, but the absence of the upper jaw and pronounced fangs questioned this version. And accordance to a third version, the East River monster was a dog with all its fur off. In any case, it was not possible to determine the species of the monster. Montauk Monster One of the most famous monsters washed up on the shore in history is rightly considered the Montauk Monster. It's an unidentified creature that was washed up on a beach in the district of Montauk, New York in July 2008. When the monster was discovered, it was photographed and the pictures were posted on the internet. Immediately after this, internet users began to put forward their versions about the strange and creepy carcass. Together with users of the internet, the scientists also shared their versions. Someone said that the Montauk monster was a raccoon, someone said that it was a sheep or turtle, and someone else declared that the real sea monster, unknown to science, was washed up on the shore of New York City. At this point, it's still unclear exactly what the Montauk monster really was. According to the generally accepted version, the carcass belonged to a raccoon as indicated by the creature's front paws and teeth. However, this version is not 100% proven, therefore it's possible that a real sea monster was washed up on the shore of New York. Via Ricos Sea Monster In 2013, Spain was shaken by unusual news. In the summer of that year, the remains of a giant sea snake with horns were found on a beach near the Andalusian town of Via Ricos. A woman coming for a swim in the sea stumbled upon the decomposed remains of the monster. She brought civil protection workers to the beach, who found other parts of the mysterious creature's body. The four-meter-long decomposing creature confused both vacationers and Spanish authorities. At first, the picture of the creature appeared only in the Spanish media but soon spread all over the internet. Different theories have begun to be put forward. Some people suggested that the creature was an oarfish the longest living bony fish in the world, while others thought a fox shark had been thrown ashore. Not bad versions, but they don't explain the horns the monster had, because as scientists have said, science knows of no creature with horns that live in the sea. In this regard, many people are sure that an unknown creature was a mutant sea dragon or a real sea serpent. One way or another, it's no longer possible to establish this for sure because the carcass of the animal was buried. What do you think? What creature was washed up on the beach of Via Ricos? Share your thoughts in the comments. I'd be interested to read. And stay tuned, because further there are many more creepy sea monsters that will make even the sea devil seem like a cute creature. Soon you'll see a four-meter-long mutant from Mexico, a Panamanian monster with human limbs, and a lake monster from Canada, which may confirm the truth of an ancient legend. Let's move on. St. Augustine Monster the St. Augustine Monster is the name given to a strange and mysterious creature that was washed up on the shore of Florida back in 1896. The monster was found by two guys who reported the find to the local science center, saying that they had most likely stumbled upon the carcass of a dead whale. Scientists who went to the site disagreed with the guys and said the find was unlikely to represent a whale because the creature had limbs and something like tentacles. Researchers suggested that a large octopus, or part of it, had been washed ashore. In 1897, photographs of the find were sent to the Smithsonian American Art Museum for study, after which the find was long forgotten. For several decades, no one could understand the carcass of which creature had been thrown ashore. 
The guesswork of scientists and the emergence of new and new versions from ordinary people stopped in 2004. When DNA analysis of the sample from the museum was conducted, it turned out that the St. Augustine monster was a whale. So the original version of the two guys turned out to be correct. It seems to me that sometimes scientists should listen to the opinions of ordinary people. They can save a lot of time. Bonfield Beach Monster in March 2016, a terrifying four-meter-long sea monster was washed up on the Bonfil Beach, which is located in the Mexican resort town of Acapulco. The unexpected guest frightened vacationers, who despite their fear began to examine and study the creature. They couldn't understand what exactly had been thrown ashore and reported the strange find to ocean experts. The scientists who arrived on the spot to examine the sea dweller were also unable to determine which species it belonged to. At the same time, they concluded that the strange creature was washed up on the beach by a powerful current. According to Rosa Camacho, coordinator of the Civil Guard and Fire Service, the monster lay in the sun for a short time and had died by the arrival of specialists. Soon, the unknown monster was taken to the Oceanological Laboratory for research. Presumably, a giant squid or octopus was washed up on the beach of Acapulco. But this is just a guess. It's still unknown exactly what the Bonfield Beach Monster was. Panama Monster In September 2009, on the outskirts of the Panamanian town of Cerro Azul, children playing on the lake shore found a strange, hairless creature. This children apparently were not timid. They killed the animal and later explained their actions by saying that the beast had come out of the cave and crawled towards them, which scared them very much. After that, the children took pictures of the monster and threw it in the water. As you can see from the photographs, the face of this strange beast was disgusting in appearance, and its limbs were disproportionately long, and the limbs were shaped like human hands, but they were unusually thin. As the photos leaked onto the internet, users began to put forward their own versions. Some people said that an alien had been found in Panama, while others claimed it was an unknown species. A few days after the pictures were posted on the internet, the body of the Panama monster was pulled from the lake and given to scientists. DNA analysis revealed that it was just a sloth. It was unclear what the sloth was doing in a cave, why it had no fur on its body, and why its body shape was so strange. But scientists say the DNA results are very accurate and undeniable. Macquarie Monster In March 2016, a strange creature was discovered on the shore of Lake Macquarie in Australia's New South Wales. Eyewitnesses who stumbled upon the creature, which later was named the Macquarie Monster, took several pictures and sent them to social media. Internet users immediately began a heated discussion about what had washed up on the Lake Macquarie shore. Someone suggested that it was an unknown deep-sea monster or a new species unknown to science. And someone thought that the Macquarie monster was a cross between a crocodile and a dolphin. The version of many internet users were disproved when scientists stated that a common pike conger was thrown ashore. These are quite large fish that reach two and a half meters in length. That'd be fine, but it's not clear how an eel got into an Australian lake. These fish usually lived in tropical and subtropical zone in the Pacific and Indian Oceans. Maybe the scientists made a mistake and there was a real monster on the shore of Lake Macquarie after all. What do you think? Canadian Monster In May 2010, two women were walking their dog along the shore of a lake in the Canadian province of Ontario. Suddenly, the dog got off its leash and ran somewhere. The women followed it and saw the dog sniffing around the body of a strange little animal about the size of a large water rat. The women were frightened, took pictures of the body, and hurried to leave the scene. Several pictures were posted on the internet and attracted the attention of researchers. Analysis of the photo showed that the face of the dead animal, which was dubbed the Canadian monster, was very unusual for a water rat. The tail of the creature, though, was one of a rat, but the fangs in the mouth of the animal were too long for rat ones. They were strongly protruded forward. Besides, there was no fur on the muzzle of the monster. It's a pity that when the group of researchers found themselves on the shore of that lake, the body of the Canadian monster was already gone. Although scientists believe that the women stumbled upon a dead rat or mink whose body was damaged by water, many people disagree with them. They believe the women stumbled upon a creature from the folklore of some local Indian tribes. In their stories, there are references to a creature whose name is translated from the local language as freak. According to the legend, the freak lives in Canada 
So many people believe that those women stumbled upon a folklore character that turned out to be a real monster. That's all guys. Which monster from this episode surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you later.